my good friend William, and First Lady Rachel Ruto, Rachel, as we say. Michal and I are delighted to welcome you here today to the Holy Land, to Jerusalem, to Zion, to this land of the Bible and the beating heart of the entire world. The Bible talks about this very city and says, God's word will emanate from Jerusalem. It envisions it as a city of peace in which the prayers of people from all over the world will be heard, as is said, from my house will be called the house of prayer for all nations. And like Jerusalem, <clears throat> which has inspired humanity, beautiful Kenya has captured the imagination of people throughout the world for as long as history itself. Yes, it is home to some of the most fascinating prehistoric discoveries that answer some of humanity's most pressing questions about its origins, your state, Kenya. But historical developments also put Kenya at powerful cultural and economic intersections of civilizations that have positioned it to broadly influence the unfolding human story. It is therefore not in the slightest bit surprising that one of the first concepts, conceptual drafts of Zionism was to, sell, to opt for a national home for the Jewish people in your land. Of course, it was called the Uganda plan, but it was actually the Kenya plan. And maybe, who knows, we may have been now neighbors together, although absolutely impossible because of our unique connection to this holy land. But still, it clearly highlights the many points of contact and similarity between our peoples. In other words, Mr. President and First Lady, we are more than partners. We are clearly mishpacha, family. So, with your remarkable nation and our incredible nation, we can do so much together, and together your visit makes this, this option so viable. Let us therefore raise a toast to the deep roots that connect us, to the present that calls to us, and the future that awaits us. And let us say, Lechaim. To... Salut. Salut. <coughs> Ambassadors.